Hello, how is everyone doing today? My name is Otto and welcome to the channel. This is the DJI RS3 Mini and in this video, I will show you the basic movements and gimbal modes that you should use to make your videos more cinematic by using a few movements that are easy to do. So besides the DJI RS3 Mini, I'm also using the Sony a7 IV and this f2.8 18mm lens from Samyang, which is lightweight and inexpensive. That is a great combo if you ask me. There are two super basic movements that you can do with the gimbal. The first one is the push in. And here, the idea is to push the gimbal forward in a straight line. You can do multiple kinds of shots with the push in. For example, you can follow a subject as he is walking forward, or you can push towards a subject that is not moving. If you're traveling, you can also use this movement to get closer to a point of interest or find something that has an interesting composition for your shot. For the push in, you might want to lock the gimbal to avoid other movements. On the RS3 Mini, you need to hold the trigger just like this. So now it's not going to move anywhere. The second basic movement is the pull back. And here, you're going to pull the gimbal backwards away from your subject or your point of interest. I like this kind of movement because it slowly reveals the surroundings and the background. If you're going to be walking backwards, you need to be extra careful to avoid hitting other people or something. So you either need to be looking backwards from time to time, or you can have someone helping you to avoid accidents. And for this movement, you can also lock the gimbal with the trigger. If you need to do a push in or a pull out at a lower level, I suggest using a handle like this one. There are different brands that you can get and they are around $40. These handles will make it easier to use the gimbal in a more horizontal position, just like this. The orbit shot is a movement that is very popular and the idea is to create an orbit around someone or something creating a parallax effect in your video, which looks really good. For this movement, you need to use PF, which is pan follow, so the gimbal will only follow your pan movement. The follow speed should be set to medium, and the RS3 Mini also has an option here in the settings where you can select orbit mode. And this is supposed to help the gimbal to react in a smoother way when you're doing orbits. For the orbit shot, when you walk around your subject, you need to try to keep the subject in the middle of the frame. One tip that I can give you here is to walk straight instead of moving from side to side and move the camera to point towards your subject using the joystick like this. This movement takes some practice, but once you master this, it's going to be... Mm -hmm. The next movement is the side tracking, and I like this movement for multiple reasons. The basic concept is to move the gimbal from left to right or from right to left. Locking down the gimbal is a good idea, and to add some sense of movement, you can incorporate the use of a foreground. In this example, I am using the plants to add that feeling, but my main focus are the boats in the background. And on this other shot, I use the bridge to create that sense of movement. This movement can also be used to track people from the side, and you can try using different elements as a foreground or try using a different focal length or distance for different results. I also recommend to hold the gimbal with the camera facing to the side and walk in a straight line. And remember not to walk from side to side. There is a small variation that I like to use in my videos and this is good to learn if you have trouble doing the orbit movement or if the space is too tight to do it. You want to walk in a straight line and you're going to rotate the gimbal slowly to keep the subject in the middle of the frame. 
as you can see, you still get some parallax effect and as I said, it's a little bit easier to get this kind of video. The tilt and reveal is another classic movement. You see these kind of shots in the movies all the time. Anyway, the idea is to point the camera up or down and slowly tilt the camera to reveal your main subject. You need to use PTF on the gimbal, which is pan and tilt follow, and I don't like to use the joystick for this movement, so instead, you can incline the gimbal just enough so the camera is looking up or down and then raise or lower the gimbal to a vertical position so the camera points forward. The simple way to do this movement is by staying in the same place or you can walk forward at the same time. The last thing I want to talk about is not actually a movement, but it's more of a tip that I want to share with you. If you try to add some kind of foreground when you're filming, it will add a lot of value to your videos, even if you're doing a simple movement like this one. Those plants are creating a nice element in front of the camera, and this creates a more engaging video. In most cases, if you're going to use a foreground in your video, don't forget to set your camera to manual focus instead of autofocus, so the camera doesn't get confused on what to focus. If you are filming someone and your camera has good eye or face autofocus, you might want to use it. Let me know in the comments down below which movement you like the most, or how about if you just say hello. A like on this video will also be appreciated. I hope you are having an amazing day and I would love to see you all in the next video. Bye.